Ten millibar in two seconds? Yep. tight. That's what they're after, isn't it? I think their only their only concern is just how lumpy it is. Crushing it, yeah. Well, not crushing no. it, just when you palletize oh. this, it's they're yes. all going to be Oh, yeah, right. unstable. Palletize. But as far as residual O2 level, this is going to be better because we pulled out, you know, 99.9% .9 of the air. Gotcha. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Lumpiness. And the seal, let's test the seal. So this is on two seconds. Yep. Well, that's good. Really so we don't need top and bottom sealing. Good. That's good. So really just texture of the package for palletizing, really. All right? Yep. So my thought was either could you make a rectangle shaped jig that you put the put the bag in the, the jig fill mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and then put the jig and the bag flip it in the chamber most of the most of the powders are going to stay in that jig so it's in a rectangle shape uh -huh. and then you pull the vacuum and instead of this you end up with a, a brick a brick yeah so there's that idea, or he said, you know, we could, if we had to, look at just putting a box around this, and then you can stack the box on a pallet, but gotcha. that adds cost for, you know, the corrugate and sustainability. Now you've got a bunch of cardboard that goes along with each package. All right. So I think we can get there. It's just yeah. a matter of which way do we want to go. All right. This is a good sign. We don't need top and bottom sealing. Yeah, it is. So if we end up going with a C550... We're good easy, on the seal side. Out of stock, yeah, yeah. Add a slanted insert plate if they want to and mm -hmm. roll. Mm -hmm. That's encouraging. Yeah. And.